Hi guys, I'm Jen Vimont. I'm the founder of Beyond the States. And today I wanna to walk you through what you get with a Beyond the States membership. Because if you're anything like me, you really wanna know what you're getting with a membership. And even if there's a list of what's included, it can just feel a little abstract. So I wanna take you into the database and the membership portal. And that's where you're gonna find sort of the three different components of your membership. There's a database, there's a learning environment, and there's a community environment. So let's start with the database. So this is the screen you see when you sign in um, to the database, and you can search by any of, as many or as few of these criteria as you want. If you are interested in a particular country, you can search by that. If you know of a particular university you wanna search, you can search that. General area of study, we have these defined as agriculture, architecture and related services, biological and physical sciences, business and economics, communications and journalism, computer science, uh, education, engineering, environmental studies, health sciences, hospitality, human services, humanities, liberal arts, math and statistics, social science, transportation and visual and performing arts. So those are sort of the broad categories. Um, each of those has a related specific area of study. But if you just know that you, know, that you want to study, let's say uh, in the Netherlands, you want to study social sciences and you want to spend under 10,000 euros a year. So we can search that. And that gives us 30 programs. And these are the 30 social science programs offered in the Netherlands that are under 10,000 euros a year. So you have this list here of those 30 and you can sort this in any way that you want to. You can sort it by tuition, you can sort it by college um, and, and go through and see what comes up. So let's look at what these listings look like when you click on them. Let's go to history and international studies at VU Amsterdam. So you click on the program and um, it tells you information about the specific program. It gives you the description of the program. It tells you the tuition and duration. And then it also gives you school data. There's a little bit there with the enrollment and percent of international students. But then you scroll down and it has the comprehensive information on the school. It gives you the fact that they're a globally ranked university, um, the scholarship information. There's a brochure. This school does have a FAFSA number, so that's listed. If it's blank, if, there, if it doesn't say FAFSA number at all, then it means they don't have one. It will also tell you here whether they, um, whether they work with the GI Bill. So this school does not, otherwise it would say GI Bill, yes. Um, gives you information about the student life at the school, housing, the admission criteria at a school-wide level, and then if there's a program that has extra requirements, like for this one, the business and computer science program has a math requirement. So that information is there. Um, an image, a YouTube link, and then an area that Jen says, and this is just if I visited the school, and I give you a couple thoughts there. It's also, you know, if, if there's a school I visit and I see some red flags, I'm gonna tell you that about uh, in the Jen says section also. So you can continue scrolling down and you will see all of the bachelor's programs that are conducted in English that are held at the school. Um, so if the school itself looks interesting, you can just kind of scroll down and see the information on those programs there. The other thing you can do is you can click on the city or the country. The city-wide information, it just has a little bit of information about the city population, some videos, information about the city, but you're gonna find a lot more comprehensive information by clicking the country. Every country we have in our database has a page like this. It's gonna give you the map, um, information about English proficiency, the rainbow ranking, uh, information about how much, or if you can work actually, if you're um, there as an international student, uh, it's gonna give you national admissions criteria, visa information, proof of means, health insurance. I mean, just really kind of anything you'd want to know. Also, there's a Jen Says section there as well. Um, so going back to the search page, the other thing you can do is you can look at that map, which I actually just kind of love looking at maps, but there are a lot of countries, you know, you might not know where Latvia is when you're searching the database and you can see, oh, okay, you know, it's not that far from Finland. Um, just to kind of get a, a view of, of Europe as a whole. Um, and then we have a favorites area. So you can add programs to your favorites 
and kind of keep track of the ones that you like um, here. So that is the database. Um, and then we have the learning and community environment. This is a place I really suggest um, that you start out when you become a member. I know it's really tempting to just dive into the database, but this is going to give you the foundation you need to really sort of interpret the data that you'll that you will um, find in the database. So it has um, a place where you can. Uh, find out about how to sign on to the database, or if you forget in the future, you can use that link. Uh, a brief video called The Basics about um, just the background you need before you jump into the database. The very basics about um, admissions, for instance, or, or uh, knowing your area of study, those sorts of things are all right there. And then you can also um, purchase the book that I uh, bought through an Amazon, the book that I wrote, I mean, through an Amazon link um, here. So then we go to the membership resource area. Uh, each month I choose a program of the month and write up information about it. Uh, last, this month I guess, I wrote about the Sustainable Urban Development Program at Tampere University in Finland. And so um, it's just sort of to provide a deeper look, a more in-depth look at a program than is provided in the database, bring it to your attention, something that you might not have um, seen on your own or might not have realized is really multidisciplinary when it is uh, and the like. So program of the month happens every month. Also our database is continuously updated. So each month I list right here in the new programs area um, what programs we put in the database so that if you've already done your search and you already have your favorites, you can see, oh, I still want to check out this program without doing, you know, a full search and trying to remember which ones you had looked at already and hadn't looked at already. This crowdsourced information is really cool too. Also another thing that really sets Beyond the States apart, because we have this great member community, um, we're all at different stages of the process. So we've had a lot of members who have visited schools as you know, I visit schools continuously. And so in this crowdsourced information, we have a document where I put my contacts at different schools and other members are putting their contacts from their visits as well. So like I said before, we have members who are at all different stages of the process. So other members are a great way to get some answers um, to your questions. And we do have a private member Facebook group you can join. Um, there are also regular opportunities to get answers for me. Each month we have um, office hours or a live Q&A call. So office hours, I do a recording and um, you sub people submit questions all through the month and I do a recording with all of the answers and I post it here. Um, and then each quarter we have a live Q&A call, which is just like office hours except that it's live. And again, I always post that video too, so people can submit questions and get um, answers even if they can't attend. Uh, last but not least, we have courses. And as a member, you have discounts to all of the courses, significant discounts. These are just $25 each. They help you navigate various parts of the process. There's how to choose a university, admissions, how to choose an area of study, uh, programs in the Netherlands and understanding business programs. In addition, we have student master classes, and these are specifically for the students, and they have a live component as well. These are scheduled at either one time a year or two times a year, depending on the course. Um, the On Your Mark class helps students sort of create their own best fit list and decide where they want to apply based on kind of a systematic way uh, process that we go through. The Get Set course uh, is an admissions course, it's three weeks. And then the Go course is after they get in and helps them with all of the logistics that need to be handled before they go to Europe. Um, and then of course, there's also the way to uh, have membership add-ons, uh, change to an annual membership, all of that can be done from this one place. So I hope this inside look has uh, helped and I hope to work with you soon.